Number 10 Red Hot Ranch Chicago's hot dog vendors struggle to set themselves apart because the majority of them utilize the same reliable Vienna beef. However, Red Hot Ranch has succeeded. The banger used at the stand has natural casings first. The dogs get a distinctive bite from this, one that is more snappy than the Oscar Mayer's that many Americans grew up eating. Additionally, the vendor offers Depression Dogs, a Chicago-style variation that includes french fries inside the bun. Notable are the griddle burgers as well. Number 9. Takuria Shingon There are several Takurias in Chicago, but this one in Logan Square has swiftly risen to the top of the list. Takuria Shingon provides delicate, top-notch tacos and it cooks are a trio of Mexican who have experience working at renowned French eateries La Sardine and La Bouchon, the pork and vegetable pesters of the Trompoir texture master courses. The uninitiated can also taste organ meats here, which is a terrific spot for them. Number 8 Lula Cafe Lula Cafe, which has won the hearts of many in Logan Square as a welcome environment for modern American cuisine since 1999, is run by chef and owner Jason Hamill, who keeps the neighborhood at the forefront of the operations. This all-day cafe serves delicious breakfast burritos and freshly baked pastries with meals like roast chicken, beetroot bruschetta and summer squash with Santa Rosa plums, tropia onions and basil, the wine selection is extensive at night. Number 7 Mi Tokaya and Tajiria. Few chefs possess the skills and passion Diana Deville has as she presents a stunning array of small Mexican dishes at Logan Square. Devilia isn't afraid to take chances and she doesn't cater to stereotypical American diner. This isn't a place to fill up on the chips and salsa while sipping pictures of margaritas. Devilla quit her former job because the boss has made her comply with those demands. Number 6. Pat's Pizza and Restaurant Chicago's pizza manufacturers are anxious to dispel the myth that the city solely produced deep dish pies and thin crust pizza is currently having a moment. Calm down, fans of deep dish, still fantastic are thick slices. Tavern style pizzas are a long history and being popularized by Pat's Pizza in Lakeview. Pizzas at this family-run establishment are among of the crispiest and thinnest in the area. Number 5. Super Kana International Want to find the best burger and pizza around but topped with the best seasonal produce? Not what diners anticipate is Super Kana International. Indian cuisine forms the foundation of the establishment and customers will notice the well-known spices that distinguish subcontinental food. Tata's Indian American restaurant is not located here though. It's almost like a deconstructed version of the dish, but the pig vindaloo is exquisite. Number 4. Smoke Barbecue This restaurant in the Irving Park, neighborhood of the Northwest side, serves barbecue in the Kansas City and Memphis traditions. Using two smokers to prepare meaty St. Louis style and baby back ribs, succulent brisket and apple and oak smoked pulled pig. Owner Barry Sorkin increased takeout and outdoor dining choices during the epidemic, adding a patio in the previous parking lot. Number 3. Community Tavern Since Joey and Brenna Beto took over Community Tavern, the Portage Park restaurant has expanded its menu away from its origins as a neighborhood steakhouse. But fortunately, the neighborhood aspect remains. The bar program is robust and kids under 12 eat free on certain days. The menu defies cohesion, which isn't a bad thing. There is a section of Asian-style dumplings, including one stuffed with mushroom butter. Number 2. Luela's Southern Kitchen Chef Darnell Reed dreamed of building a restaurant in memory of his great-grandmother Luella, who arrived in Chicago from Mississippi in 1943 as he worked in hotel kitchens in downtown Chicago. His little restaurant in Lincoln Square now offers some of the greatest southern cuisine in the area, including a sizable dish of fried chicken and waffles, chicken gumbo and shrimp and grits.
Number 1 Super Dog Drive In At the junction of Devon, Nagel, and Milwaukee, this iconic Chicago drive in is guarded by avatars of Super Dog founders Maury and Flory Berman. Patrons can recognize those enormous hot dog statues depicting the Berman's likeness from blocks away. Customers park their cars at Superdog, where car hops bring out food trays while they converse with workers through crackling speakers. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.